Hi, I'm Howard from Cyber News and Reviews, cyber-reviews.com and CyberTimes LLC. And it's a continuing of an unboxing of a gaming system. I had a Cybertron PC with a 1070 NVIDIA card, all bells and whistles. And now I have this, purchase this on Amazon. This is a Acer monitor and it's a 144 hertz, really high quality, high definition monitor for use for use with gaming. It's 1920 by 1080. So. Got all the, all the necessary cables and the power cord. Power supply. That is that. This was 190, around 198 or something on Amazon. Pretty nice. I chose the 24 inch because the 27 was a lot more money. There it is. And I won't be running it until later on. There is a mount. Some of the other monitors I looked at had uh, more elaborate mounts. Well, apparently here I'm on my own with instructions on how to mount the mount, but it, this is a one part and this is the pedestal base and I figured it out. You uh, slide, there's a place where this goes. You can only slide it in one way, which is like this. If you try to put it in backwards, it won't work. So that, that, and there's a, a screw you tighten on the bottom. Phillips or any kind of screw will work. Don't want to over tighten these things because you can strip them. And then the pedestal base. The reason why you need the 140 hertz is the response time. The wide end of the pe pedestal mount goes towards, only goes one, it only goes one way. And it just falls right in. The wide end, wider end goes towards the front of the monitor, the shorter end goes towards the back. And it just fell right in, it's real easy. Well protected. And there it is with the pedestal base on. There it is with the pedestal base on. I'm going to use it with a Cybertron PC. Getting ready to boot this Cybertron PC gaming computer with a 1070 and video card. And uh, it came with two cables, a standard monitor cable. Was and it came with a DVI cable. The N video card also has three display port connectors and one HMDI. But I'm, the better one is the DVI connector and I'm going to connect that right now. Okay, I have the cables plugged in to the Acer monitor and the back of the N video card. And here we go. I'm going to hit the power button and get out of the way. Okay, here goes. It is powering up. And there it goes. I'm waiting. <laughs> Windows 10 home version. It's booting. Let's see. And I have to sign in there. So I'm going to turn the camera off and sign in and come back. I was unable to enter the key to start the computer. Uh, there is a key, Microsoft Windows key on the side of the computer. It doesn't match the numbers that I'm entering or it doesn't match what's in the computer. It doesn't look like the correct key. There was no key in the box and I'm, I can't do anything. I tried calling. I bought it from Newegg and they're not open and I tried calling Cybertron PC and they're not open unfortunately I can't start up the computer I'm not very happy I'm back Howard from Cyber News and Reviews CyberTimes LLC after talking chatting to Newegg uh, they could not get the product key and came back to the computer uh, there is a product key there was a Microsoft 
label that had to be scraped off to get the complete product key. That was not told. And so I'm a, I did enter the product key and I'm about to go to next and start the computer. Very disappointing that I wasn't told that. And there it goes. Use Express Setup after accepting the terms. Not what I expected, but I've got it working. Only took about uh, 45 minutes to figure that one out. Well, there it is. Windows 10 Home Edition. And I've initialized it. The monitor looks good. Too bad I couldn't get to tech support to tell me that about scratching off the Microsoft label to get to the complete product code, the product key. Went downstairs and, and tried to contact Cybertron PC and Newegg and Cybertron PC was unavailable though they had a 24-7 support line. They were, got onto the line and they said, we're closed. This is at 4 o'clock Eastern Time, which was probably about 1 or 2 o'clock Mountain Time. It was very disappointing. And then I tried to contact Newegg and they were not available, but I was able to talk to Newegg on a chat line and they couldn't figure it out. It turns out that when I got back up to the computer, and as you can see it's working, I saw that there was a Microsoft label over the product key. I had not seen a, a label over Microsoft products and I did see a label a scrape off or scratch off label on QuickBooks 2017 which I just reviewed I had to upgrade to 2017 and I took my fingernail and scraped off the gray label and underneath was the complete product key and it worked happily got it working and I just have to install my antivirus program and a few other things and install open broadcast so I can do reviews and install Adobe Premiere Pro and a few other things. Okay, that was uh, unboxing and finally got it to work. It was unacceptable not to be able to get an answer. Uh, Newegg wasn't aware of anything and didn't tell me that there was a, a scratch off label and I couldn't get a hold of Cybertron PC people. Bye for now. Please subscribe. I, I have tech reviews and I do puppet parodies.